Hey everyone, Daniel here. Today we're exploring Hiroshima on a budget. Get ready to discover 17 amazing wallet-friendly activities in this beautiful city. From historical landmarks to delicious local eats, we're going to pack it all in without breaking the bank. So grab your yen, your sense of adventure, and let's get started. All right, first up, uh, we're at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, a place that's both beautiful and deeply moving. You can't come to Hiroshima without experiencing this landmark. The park serves as a reminder of the atomic bombing and a symbol of peace. Take some time to wander, reflect and remember. Next up, we're heading to Hiroshima Castle. This majestic castle was originally built in the late 16th century, destroyed in the atomic bombing, and then carefully reconstructed. You can explore the castle grounds, learn about its history, and even climb to the top for panoramic views of the city. This place, Shukayan Garden, it's like a postcard. So peaceful, you can walk around for hours, get lost in the beauty and forget you're in the middle of a city. If you need a break from the hustle, definitely check it out. Plus, it's super cheap, which we love. Hiroshima's known for this dish called Okonomiyaki. It's like this savory pancake layered with noodles, cabbage and whatever toppings you want. We found this awesome little spot downtown packed with locals. Always a good sign, right? I'm telling you, you've got to try this. All right, so the Motoyasu River, it cuts right through the city. You can stroll along here, enjoy the views, grab some street food. It's also a great spot to get some iconic photos. Hiroshima Museum of Art not just some stuffy old paintings. They've got modern art, sculptures, the whole shebang. We're talking big names too, not just local stuff. If you're into art, even a little bit, this place is a must see. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. All right, Miyajima Island, this place is straight out of a postcard. We're talking a giant floating Tori gate, adorable deer roaming around, and views that'll make your jaw drop. It's a quick ferry ride from Hiroshima, totally worth the trip. Pro tip, grab some deer crackers, those furry little guys love them. Need some souvenirs? Hondori Street is where it's at. We're talking everything from traditional crafts to trendy clothes, all at crazy good prices. Don't be afraid to haggle a little, you might just score an even better deal. Plus, the street food here is off the charts. Gyoza, taiyaki, you name it. Get ready to feast. Uh, check this out. Hiroshima Orizuru Tower. This place is awesome. You've got to get up to the observation deck. It's like seeing the whole city from a bird's eye view. Plus, they have these interactive uh, exhibits that are actually pretty cool. You can fold your own paper cranes origami style. It's all about peace and hope, you know? All right, next up, Asa Zoo. If you're into animals, this is the spot. They've got all sorts of crazy creatures here. Lions, tigers, bears, you name it. And it's not just about looking at animals in cages. They have a ton of educational stuff too, so you can actually learn something. All right, gearheads, this one's for you. The Mazda Museum. This is where they make those sweet, sweet Mazdas. You can take a factory tour and see how it's all done. They've also got a bunch of classic cars on display so you can see how the company has evolved over the years. It's a must-see for any car enthusiast. All right, guys, time to get the blood pumping. Hiroshima is super bike friendly, so renting a bike is a must. There are tons of rental spots all over the city and you can find some sweet deals if you look around. I'm talking like five bucks for the whole day, which is insane. Cruise down by the river, explore the park, feel the freedom of two wheels. Calling all my fellow manga nerds. If you're into comics, you have to check out the Hiroshima City Manga Library. We're talking walls and walls of manga, from classic titles to the latest releases. It's a total rabbit hole. You could get lost in here for hours. 
And guess what? It's totally free. Hiroshima's art scene is way bigger than you might think. It's not just about the peace memorials, although those are obviously incredibly powerful. The Hiroshima Prefectural Art Museum is a hidden gem packed with art and artifacts from the region. You'll get a glimpse into the history, culture and creative spirit of Hiroshima. It's a different side to the city you gotta see. You know, sometimes the best things in life are unplanned. While you're here, be sure to check out what local festivals are happening in Hiroshima. You never know what you'll find. From traditional music and dance to street food and games, it's a total blast. Get ready to soak up some local vibes. All right, guys, after all that exploring, we got to recharge. And what better way to do it than with some traditional Japanese tea? We're talking centuries old rituals, Zen vibes, and a taste of history. This is going to be awesome. Let's find a tea house and get our Zen on. Okay, so maybe museums aren't your thing, but trust me, the Hiroshima Children's Museum is a different story. It's all about hands-on exhibits, learning through play, and basically being a kid again. I'm talking giant bubbles, science experiments, and a whole lot of fun. Let's check it out. That's a wrap on our Hiroshima adventure. From the Peace Memorial Park to the Children's Museum, this city has been an incredible journey through history, culture, and some seriously delicious food. If you're looking for an unforgettable travel experience, Hiroshima should be at the top of your list. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more travel tips. See you in the next video.